So, good evening everybody to this uh, rather cold and dark winter's evening. Um, this is a project I got involved with much earlier in the year. It's been ongoing for, for most of it. Um, only because the, the owner's doing a lot of the building work. So I can only do my bit when he's done his bit. So, um, divided this up into, into a couple of parts. Um, as, it's quite, uh, as it's quite long. So we'll actually join this, um, this installation part way through because I actually wasn't able to video the first part which was putting in um, all the cabling through, it's a, it's a uh, bungalow I need to add. Um, so I wasn't able to do the video of putting the cables in across the loft for the, for the cooker and the hob. Um, not really that interesting anyway, it was just me just throwing cables across and making, making them nice and neat in the, in the loft. Um, so that, that part of it, so we're going to join it part way through with me um, actually at the board putting in the putting in the new RCOs. So I hope you find it interesting and uh, let's get to it. Okay we're here doing a, a kitchen fit out so we've got to fit an RCBO to this. Uh, in fact we're going to fit three in the end. Uh, one for a cooker, one for a hob and one for the garage. That's the cooking line which we've fed over to the cooker over to the kitchen side so that's all been tested and um, continuity and insulation resistance that's all been done on that line and it's all been fed through so that's been done so this is the next part of the job it's put in the cooker circuit RCBO in just switch that around uh, and we're going to be replacing um, this one and moving them all down because we've got a couple to put in one for the cooker one for the hob and also one for the garage at least to start with anyway um, so yeah so we'll get on with that Right, so here we are with the new RCBO in place. New tails in, well, the new 4mm cables. Cable in for the RCBO. There's a lot more work to be done in this, that's why I'll tidy up all that wiring and make it neater once all the wiring's done. There's a couple more circuits to go on this board. Um, I have Underneath, the bus bar's not long enough, so you can fit a longer bus bar so we can get another two circuit breakers in there. But that's all in. We've even now run the new cable for the for the hob. We've just tested the cooker out. The cooker works fine. All the RCD tests have passed. So yeah, we're happy. I'm happy with that. Um, already done some work. Um, with a couple of cookers and a hob and we've already chased down this stuff um, but what we're doing today is getting this uh, cooker hood into place going to put it in on we'll just strip that out um, that's going to run up into the ceiling and as you can see we've already got that chased out all the way down there that's the ring uh, that's on the ring, which has all been done up in the loft already, and we are just about to put on a fuse spare. It's already downrated to 3 amps, which is what the cooker hood requires. So we're going to run an extra piece of 2.5 there, and then we're going to run a 1.5 up that chase into the loft, and connect that onto there. With that. So we're going to do that, uh, get all that lot done, then that gets that up and working, and then try and work out all the lights. Right, so we're going to throw that up through there. Uh, shove that up through that hole. Well, it will be old in a minute. And then run that one point. We don't need a 2.5 for this because it's only a 3 amp hood. So we can run the 1.5, run the 1.5 down there and down there on the ring, and just tear it off there. And that'll be absolutely fine. Always get a unique problem on one of these jobs. But yeah, so doing it this way because we thought. Um, we could just plug it in because I've actually had to cut the plug off this. I thought, no, we're doing a new kitchen, so we'll just, let's do it neatly. And the cover, this cable will be covered by the covering, the cowling anyway. 
So. Oh, there's an RCB to go on this circuit as well, which I'll do. Uh, that's on order, that'll be here tomorrow, so we can put the RCB on this circuit. And then that's done as well. And then the, uh, there's a garage socket that's got to come off the ring on its own radial on a 20 amp, so we'll do that as well. Okay, so that's the white cable up into the loft. And here we've got the, uh, all the way down here. And here we've got the 1.5, which we're going to terminate into that fuse spare, which will then control that hob hood. Okay, so the hob is there. Uh, yeah, that's all been disconnected for the time being. The connection unit's there, the switch for that is there. Uh, switch for the cooker, which is in this bit here. And there's the connection unit for that. Both these on 4mm, because they didn't need to be on anything else. They're, they're more than adequate but to be on 4mm, both of these. They're on separate circuits. Uh, as you can hear, the uh, owner's working upstairs. So the owner's doing a lot of the building work, and I'm just doing the electrics. <coughs> oh, dear, excuse me. Right, so there we go. So that's those cables where they're supposed to be. They'll get all pulled up and nicely. We've got some capping to go on this, so that will do that. So I'll just get all these wired together. I won't wire that bit into the ring uh, just yet because I won't uh, I'll wire that up later on um, just get this fuse connection unit wired up and then I've got to connect the flex to that in its junction box I'll do that next <coughs> right, hopefully this is actually showing this, so I'm sort of just quickly show how I was taught to strip back to the earth. So, grumps. So, tap that to there. Just pull that back slightly. And that, pull that up. And then just get the pliers. Use the earth wire to pull it all the way back to there. Pull the sheathing back. And then, whoops. Get the clippers. That's done. And then we'll just get the get some earth sleeving to go on that. 3 mil. This one, like that. I don't know that showed that on the camera then. And pull that back. Oh, like that. Pull back the sheath. Clip it off. Right, so we've got all the socket fronts back on. We'll just uh, check them. It's working fine. Switch on the fuse spur. Come over to here. Uh, from finger. It's all working. Get the lights. Okay, so what I need to do is just make that nice and tidy through there. Um, I need to mount the junction box on the rafters and get the conduit put in and yeah, then that could be uh, the owner's going to do a lot of the building work, so the owner's going to put the capping on um, and then get the cupboards back on. And then 
while he's doing that I'll get the wiring tidied up in the in the loft. Um, but yeah, please, I'm pleased with that. That's, that's come out really well. This kitchen's been going on for a while. Um, like I say, I've done all the electrics in here. Um, so all the electrics all done. To my standard. Um, admittedly the owner did those two lights. He wants me to check them. That they've been done right. Uh, but I've got to do those three down there. Um, so I've got to wire those up. So I've got to put in another 1.5mm cable. I've got to tap off all this stuff. So put in the undercupped lights which we've got to get. That should be the next job. But yeah, so that's that's sorted. Um, multi tool did the chasing. Love the multi tool that I've got to do that. But yeah, so uh, so that's it with the hood. So the hood's done, the cooker's done, the hob's done. Um, this circuit needs an RCBO putting in, uh, which I'm probably going to do next. Um, like I say, that's going to make all my readings obsolete that I took before, so I'm going to have to do them all over again. Um, and obviously do the RCD test on the RCBO, so that's going to be tomorrow uh, to do that job. Um, but yeah, so we're getting there, we're getting there. It's slow and, slow and steady this job, I would say the owner's doing a lot of the building work, so I can carry on with what I've got to do when he's finished his next section so this is probably the the biggest bit of electrical work I've had to do for probably a couple of months actually on this job 